بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على مولانا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه After the end of the boycott and the passing of his beloved and help, helping uncle, protecting uncle, and the passing of his uh, wife, Sayyidatuna Khadija, radiallahu ta'ala wa ta'ala anha, he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, found it very difficult to continue his da'wah in Mecca. But he never stopped. He then decided to go to Qa'if because if Qa'if accepted, then Mecca could not continue to harm him anymore because Mecca could harm him as they did because his uncle was not alive anymore. But if Taif accepts, then Taif has a political power, a political weight, I would say. وَقَالُوا لَوْ لَا نُزِّلَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنُ عَلَىٰ رَجُلٍ مِّنَ الْقَرِيَةِ كَيْنِ عَظِيمٍ Mecca was the religious capital of that region. The commerce there was fruitful. But you could not do any farming in Mecca. So everything they had when it comes to their farming was in, in five. So if five accepts him, then there will be balance. He went to Taif. Not only did they reject, you know, the brothers Abdul Ali, Masurat Habib, the children of Taif, but after he left the Yemen, started calling people in the marketplaces for about a month, they did harm them. Not only physically, but emotionally. That's why when Aisha, Sayyidatna Aisha radiallahu asked her about Uhud and how hard it was, the Holy Prophet sallallahu made her understand that Fa'if was even harder, more difficult to him than Uhud. Because Uhud, they harmed him only physically. But Taib was physically, emotionally, <coughs> morally, whatever you can say. But look at the outcome, the lessons we learn from this. Number one, the khuluq of the Holy Prophet When he passed out and he arrived to, you know, get up when he was in um, Bani, how do you call it, uh, in, 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 a, in a farm of some of the people of Makkah, Shaybah and Utbah, you know, outside five, these people, they saw him, they're from Mecca. They sent to one of their, you know, uh, servants to give him something, Adas. In, uh, that's, uh, that, that part of Taif is known as Banu Ha'alib or Qarnul Manazil. It's the Mirror of the people of Najat. Adas identified in the Holy Prophet Sallallahu is from Iraq, he's from Ninoa. He heard the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi say Bismillah when he gave him the fruit. He said, I've never heard this. He said, hey, where are you from? I've meaning I've never said, heard this here. Where are you from? I'm from Ninoa. Oh. The place of my of, of Yunus Ibn Matah. Do you know him? Yes, he's my brother, he's a prophet like me. Abba started kissing the head of the Holy Prophet. You know, the arms of the hands of the Holy Prophet, the feet of the Holy Prophet, and he accepted Islam. The message is there, they're rejecting you here, but the entire world will accept you. He is Iraq. The angel. Jibril alayhi salam, along with the angel of the Jibal, came. If you want, Allah wa ta'ala has given the angel of the Jibal, the ill, the permission, to put the Akshabain, the two mountains on them and destroy them all. The Holy Prophet alayhi salam said, yeah, no. They just don't understand. If they don't accept, maybe 
their progeny, people who come from them will accept to this Islam. The Rahman of the Holy Prophet Allah is telling him, this dunya are rejecting you, but al manawal Allah has accepted you. Number three, when he was at the valley and he sent Zayd ibn Haritha to go to see how he gets back to Mecca because Zayd asked him, how are you going to get back to Mecca? Because when he went to, from Mecca to Taif, he, he did not ride, he, you know, he marched, he, you know, he walked because he didn't want people to know where he was, but they knew. Zayd told him, how are you going to get back? The Holy Prophet was telling him, giving him certainty that this is the beginning of the success. And the jinn came and they heard him reciting Quran and they accepted Islam. The humans are rejecting, but the jinns accept already. So the ver that very painful trip, actually the most painful moment in the life of the Holy Prophet occurred in this trip. But the forgiveness of the Holy Prophet the highest level of forgiveness could be seen in his sayings. No, not only he forgave, he forgave them, but he even defended them, they don't know. That is going to be the beginning of Al Isra of Al, 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 Al Hijrah because after this will occur Al Isra Al Mi'raj and after in Isra Al Mi'raj Allah wa Taala will show him the root map of the remaining part of his life and that will be discussed tomorrow Inshallah.